let's look at the bovine mammary gland. Okay, so this specimen, if we orient it like this, we see the teats are ventral, and so this is caudal, this is cranial. So here with the mammary gland, we have the suspensory apparatus. We have the lateral laminae, which are collagenous, nice and firm. And then more medially, coming off the abdominal tunic, is the medial laminae going down through the middle. Okay? So because the medial laminae come off the abdominal tunic, it's got more elastic fibers in it, so that when the udder is full, that medial laminate is going to stretch, and therefore our teats are going to point outward. Okay? So we see here's the external pudendal artery coming down, giving off our cranial and caudal mammary arteries. We can see here caudally the superficial inguinal lymph nodes, which are also known as the mammary lymph nodes. So they're going to be caudally. When they enlarge, you can actually see them on the dorsal aspect of the udder from caudally. Okay. Here we have venous drainage. The main venous drainage is going to be via the external pudendal vein. But we're going to have this ring of veins around and cranially coming off of that, as we see here, is going to be the superficial caudal epigastric. Okay, It's going to merge with the cranial superficial epigastric and become what is known as the milk vein. And the valves are going to break down so we get flow going that way. Okay, Now, although the milk vein may be very tempting to take a blood sample from, please don't do it because the bleeding is very hard to stop and so it's very embarrassing if you can't stop the bleeding. Okay, if we look down here, let's look at this specimen over here. We look at the teats. Okay, so here we see lactiferous ducts coming into the lactiferous sinus. The lactiferous sinus consists of the gland sinus here and the teat sinus here. And that is separated by the annular fold or annular ring here. So our lactiferous sinus once again is the gland sinus and the teat sinus. Here we can see the opening of the papillary or teat canal. And you can see it's got longitudinal folds in it so that when the sphincter muscle close, it kind of folds up around it. Okay?